Kelly Harper and her staff do just a fantastic job. They were so prepared for this game. Uh, they're so well coached. They always play with spirit. And, um, you know, even with a minute 20 left, I still thought, oh, my God, well, they could hit four threes and tie this thing. I mean, they're just magical sometimes, and they were magical tonight. They played great, and uh, we really, really had to play very, very good basketball and have special performances from these two to hang in there with them. I mean, they were really – I was so impressed with how mentally tough they are and um, what their schemes were and how physical they played us defensively. And um, I'm sure that the Pepper getting 17 and 17 – if we didn't have that, we would be sitting here with a loss. So it was just awesome for a Pepper to rise up and come through with that performance. It's such a timely, timely time. Timely, timely time. I said that. Huh? A timely time for us um, because that's a big part of our late February and March pushes is getting Pepper, uh, you know, double doubles. So um, if, if that didn't happen, then NC State had us beat. And I thought stepped up. How'd she do in the last game against NC State? She had a of that. We thought she really was a presence. 11 and 6, maybe 8. So it was one of her better, uh, she was a presence the entire assist with the pepper. Um, and they did, they did a nice job of playing off of each other. So uh, it really worked out very, very well. It was definitely part of our game plan to establish pepper. Do you just kind of see an opportunity when you look at the physical difference between you and their players? Um, yes. Well, I kind of feel like uh, every game is almost a physical opportunity. It's just up to me whether I use my size. And it's like, you know, it has an advantage. So um, my coach, I'm like, you know, I do have a height advantage and, you know, strength as well. And even, you know, quickness, but most players just use it to my advantage. And 17 17 was the result. Can you talk about your mindset as you kind of adjust to this expanded? Only thing going through my mind was just play. You know, don't worry about the cause. Um, early in the season, I was so, like, caught up with cause and trying to. Um, make every play or every win, you know, I don't think there's not one game of basketball that's ever like 100% perfect. So right now my mind is just, you know, just play through it and play basketball and just play through it and it'll eventually come. How much a key has she been generally for your team just to have that extra size? And oh, you know, and it's funny because her, her big double-figure rebounding games have been huge games for us. I mean, her, her highest rebounding total is probably this and then NC State. So those are her double, you know, she, she definitely rises up and, Pepper is going to come through for people. She's just a super individual. So when somebody needs Pepper, she comes through. And I think that, she, um, and and then if we can have Shanice not even have a, a very big big ball game and still, you know, play. I, I'm telling you what, NC State tonight would have beaten, and, and it, they just played out of there. They played great, and and I have so much respect for that. So it was huge that Pepper stepped up. Rick, at the end of the first half, you scored 11 points in a row. Mm -hmm. um, you know, can you just take take us through that? And, you know, maybe what you were thinking at that point and how it happened. Have fun. <laughs> so what my mom always tell me, and Coach and um, Coach Keir always tell me, like, don't think about what you get or miss it. Just have fun. Like next play, like move on. You missed it. Like make the next one. But you didn't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> the last one she took on that run, I said to the the bench, said, didn't like that one, and they go, you know I'm back. Push further in this season. Yeah, I mean, look, like, Coach didn't have to tell us. I mean, yeah. But everybody knew, like, okay, like, we just show her and, like, come every night to play for her, not only, not only for ourselves, but for her. What's it like for you to come through your career where you had some low points early on, and then now you're in this position where you're still competitive for the conference championship and maybe you could get a one seed in the NCAA? Um, competitive, man. <laughs> Don't worry about points. Um, that's what um, Coach tell me. Like, like I got to be more than just a sport. And she was calling plays out there. She was giving me advice out there. Um, you know, Bay's got to make sure Miami wins. Yes, Bay and Mo, they didn't have 20 points on the same night. We lost every conference game unless they both hit for 20. They had to average 40 for us to win earlier in their career. And now they're just out there making sure Miami wins. And she was getting pep, running a lot of two-man games between the two of them. And Bay was running the show. And that's where I, I'm so proud of the development of those two because it's the, they have. we've gone from the very bottom and uh, hopefully, you know, near the top now and nature. Not so much your ability to put the ball in the basket, but how competitive those two are. And then you can't forget Sylvia because she, her stat line is not that impressive, but 34 minutes couldn't take her off the court. She's just everywhere, just so much energy and defense. So she's playing since Morgan's gone down, gone up maybe 10 a game, and she's just.